Hey guys, here at Shot 2020 TFB TV Showtime on the show floor at the Robinson Arms booth. I'm here with Josh from Robinson Armaments. Uh, Josh, thanks so much for coming on board. Yeah, thanks, man. We really appreciate you coming out here. Love your show. We are honored, and we'd like to uh, keep that standard eye for you. Awesome. Sounds good. So, XCRL, what's new for this year? So the XCRL platform, obviously, is a modular design, interchangeable calibers for the Warfighter. The L models are all our lighter calibers, 556, 300 blackout, 762 by 39. M models are the higher calibers. Our biggest announcement for this year is the PCCs that have come out. We are going to be shipping out our 9mm variant and a 45 variant in the same XCR platform. So with the interchangeable barrels and the XCR style upper and lower with the monolithic frames. Gotcha. And what do I have right here in my hand? This is the XCRL in a 16 inch barrel with our standard fast two stock, fast three stock, sorry. Um, with the interchangeable barrel for 300 blackout and 5.56. Awesome. And we have it in a very special color that uh, Alex has produced himself, which is a little bit harder than Cerakote, but we still love our Cerakote partners. They're fantastic. Gotcha. Outstanding. Um, where are some of the PCCs that you have, the 9 mil ones? We don't have any of them here. here. They're still in development, but okay. they are officially in development stage, and we're shipping them out to our shooting team starting this next week, and our shooting team will get 10 of them to do our testing, get done with our R&D on that. Once that's complete, they'll be available on our website for purchase in the 9mm variant and a 45 caliber, possibly a 10mm. MSRP? MSRP is pretty be pretty close to what our standard is, so you're looking between 1000 and 1500 ballpark. Gotcha. And availability? Availability for our L models is fairly quick. We have about a four week turnaround. On the M models, it's between four and six weeks. Because we're an in-house shop, we do all of our work except for our barrel chrome and lining. That all goes out, out of house. But everything else is milled and machined in-house by our 10-man crew. We're an awesome operation. Outstanding. But you have something that, like those are cool. They're pretty cool. But I'm more excited about this other thing. I'm pretty Me excited. Me personally. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'll grab it. All right, cool. All right, guys. This is the Stoner 63, and if you don't know what the Stoner 63 is, uh, just punch yourself in the face. No, I'm right just kidding. Now. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> no. You guys are bringing back the Stoner 63. You've done it before in the 90s, mm -hmm. but this is really cool. Yeah, so Robinson Armament was given an opportunity to compete for a contract for the Marine Corps back in 1996, and we made a M96 variant of the Stoner 63. Our M96 took all the greatness that was the Stoner and upgraded the parts that had small defects in them to create the M96. We know we have a huge cult following for this. And over the last couple of weeks, we've gone through our warehouse and found that we only needed a couple more parts to complete about 200 models. When those 200 models are complete and our pre-orders completed on our robarm.com, we'll be able to ship these out. They come in two variants right now. The recon model, which is a 16 inch barrel, standard that the Marine Corps had requested. And then the British style with the burn conversion on it. Burn conversion on it, sorry. Burn conversion, yeah. Yeah, fantastic weapon systems, just like the XCRs. Uh, in fact, a lot of our design for the XCR came from this original design from the Stoner and our M96s. Gotcha. And um, can you tell us what you've upgraded and what you've gotten better? So most of this stuff is pretty standard to what the Stoner was. Uh, some of the stuff are bolt components and a little bit of the charging handle change up. Some of the um, our gas bolt back system into the piston drive. But everything else is pretty standard to what the Stoner 63 was, but now it's the M96. Yeah. Um, and if you were to try to buy, you know, a class three Stoner 63, that would run you what, like five to 10 grand today? Yeah, comfortably, comfortably. Yeah. And it, that's if you can find them. We've seen it in the data that we've seen on Gunbroker. A lot of the M96s are going pretty close to about $2,500 and they sell in about 10 minutes on Gunbroker. So when they do come available, they go fast because they are a fantastic, reliable weapon. And Alex Robinson was super excited to announce this on our Instagram page this morning and yesterday. We're bringing them back for a limited time for a run for us as the customers. For the retro guys who are watching this, who are saying, shut up and take my money, <laughs> um, they want to know MSRP and availability today. So our, right now, our ballpark MSRP for the M96 in the recon variant with the 16 inch barrel, we're looking pretty close to about $2,500-ish as our estimate price. For the Bren conversion kit, we're looking about $34.99. And for any other variants that we may have, depending on what supplies are inside of our warehouse, our stocks, those prices will be available on our website. And there's only 200 of this? Give or take about 200 of them, yes. And 200, how many of this? Uh, it's the conversion kits for them. Oh, so, so right just, now yeah, we have gotcha. about 200 total. across the board total. Oh, man. 
and they are out the box, unused, and we're hoping to have these out to you in the next couple months. And can I take pre-orders or what? Pre-orders will be available on our website probably in the next six weeks. You'll be able to get on our website, um, sign up for the pre-order. We'll take your deposit once the deposit and the pre-order is complete for the models that we do have available. Again, potentially up to 200. Once those pre-orders are complete, we'll close it out, finish the product, and send it out to you. Gosh, this is so cool. I know, I'm pretty sucked up. It's the coolest thing I've seen today. I'm not even kidding. It's really hard not to walk off of it, to be 100% honest. That, that, was a, that was a thing. Yeah. So. All right, man. I, I, we got to get going, but this has been really cool making thank this. Thank you so much. Um, no, thank you guys as well. Awesome. Um, we'll hope you have the best of luck and success in 2020. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.